In the previous uh, video, we explored the environment of uh, Sage Evolution. In this video, we are going to create agents. Agents are the users of the system. And each agent has to be carefully created by the administrator. Only the administrator, uh, somebody with administrative rights, is able to create a, an agent or a user on the Sage Evolution system. So to create a user, we can use the menu, the main menu item here on administration, and we go to administration, agent administration, then we go to agents. We can also even create agent groups if we desire to do that. We can also go to the system tree and create on uh, and click on agent administration. Then we can uh, create our agents from there. And uh, these are the two ways uh, that we can approach uh, ad agent administration. But I would advise that we use the menu items uh, from the main main menu bar. So we go administration, agent administration, then agents. Then by default there are three agents. Then what we have to do is to add an agent. When we click on the icon add, and this box comes through in which we have to put in details of our new agent who is going to be our new user. So the administrator can now put in the agent name which should be a very short name, for example, just the first name or part of the first name. And uh, the full name can be first name, uh, first name, like if it's Kendon, uh, Mutanga. Uh, this will be the first name and this will be the same name in the full name. Uh, but automatically the system will populate the first name, the last name uh, fields for us. So we have to go to description and if this person is the accountant then we type in accountant and also type in uh, the, the password uh, that uh, we would give to this person when the person comes into our office then we will give the person uh, this password but uh, the password may be changed so if the password has to be a, a buyer uh, or to perform some of the buying a options then you we actually give it to them then there is conduct which also needs to be populated there's also the address which also needs to be filled in and uh, there is also what is very important here are the access permissions so on access permissions uh, all the modules are listed uh, here as you can see and uh, the activities that can be done by an agent on the system are add edit, delete, or access, or access can also be called viewing. So uh, the blue box here shows that our agent has got full access and can do anything, can add, can edit, can delete, can access anything. So if we don't want our agent to do some of these four things, or all of, uh, but it, it can be all of them, at least if we don't want this agent to do one or two, or three of these things we have to uncheck the box until that box is blank and unchecking means you have to select or click on the box once or twice yeah, for example if I don't want the agent to delete a, a new a, 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 an account for a customer I can click on this box here uh, under delete and it will change to a tick, which means that uh, this user can still delete, but the rights have been limited. So I click again, so that, that that box becomes blank. So when the box is blank, the user cannot delete um, anything that relates to uh, accounts receivable. And also note that we can expand the uh, accounts receivable a module and we can even expand the a maintenance module there or even expand the a applicable a, a permissions that, that actually come with it 
but we can not we will allow this person to view all these things it's okay but that person cannot delete some of these things so that is uh, uh, how to create and allocate uh, those and assign the responsibilities to these uh, uh, users what is also very important on our agents is uh, in terms of options now uh, we've got these password options remember we set a password for this uh, um, user now what may happen is that when this user uh, do we allow the user to change the password which is advisable yes you should be able to change the password the agent must change the password on next login <coughs> when this part when this when the uh, agent comes in into my office i will have to give him his uh, login details like his agent name ken and also his uh, password 1234 but the agent then must be forced to change the password because not two people must know the same password agent must change password every uh, we may leave this blank but you can say every seven days it can be every one day one day uh, or every month you can also set out of office. Sometimes agents go out of office for several reasons, and uh, you can, when you check on uh, this this uh, this box, you can put in the reason, and you can even put in uh, from what date and time to what date and time. So this is how the uh, user can be uh, set up. The agent can be set up. Thank you.